And welcome to this afternoon's lineup between Great Britain and the Netherlands. Both teams still with a fighting chance moving forward in the competition at this year's 16th edition of the Men's Softball European Championships. Just moving around the diamond here for the Netherlands, we've got Imran Lorenz pitching on the mound. Dai Guaguin catching. Apologies on the interruption there. Imran Lewis throwing for the Dutch team on the mound. And up to bat we've got Thomas Russell for the GB men's side. First pitch gets a little loose back to the screen. Puts the ball down the line and that's going to go foul down the first baseline as Russell hustles down to first base. That'll bring Russell back to the plate. One ball, one strike. Puts the bunt down, back to pitcher. Emron fires down to one for out number one. Great fielding pitcher is Emron, traditionally third base for the last few years. Moved himself into the pitching role for the Dutch team after a few early retirements, if you ask me. Todd Crean up to bat for the GB team here. Hits one up high out into the right field. Chasing it down and sliding in, unsuccessful. One strike on Todd Crean.
Just misses on the outside corner. Two balls, one strike. Just a little bit up there. Good piece of hitting by Crean here, just being nice and patient. Not trying to do too much with the ball, just being patiently waiting for those strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Swing and a miss, Todd goes down. Netherlands five ball around the field here for two down. Great bit of pitching by Imran, just to bring himself back in after going down a couple of balls. Into the batter's box, young Damon Brown. Been doing a lot of the pitching for the GB side here. And he takes one up and in. Off the elbow guard. And he's going to get the free base down at first. Great bit of sportsmanship by a first baseman. Just making sure that he's okay. And that'll bring up Dara and Mankeys. Been doing a great job of hitting his Mankeys. Seen him hit quite a few hits this morning and throughout the tournament. Seems to be one of the most powerful hitters. Triple yesterday, triple this morning. He's in fine form. Two down, runner on one. Mankeys up to bat. Imran, just fires a change up, just a little high. GB had a good outing against the Netherlands down in the Zeiss slot tournament this year as GB came the overall winners of that tournament over the Netherlands and a big upset win. One ball, one strike. Ball high. New look GB team under the coaching staff of Robbie Robinson and Chelsea Robinson. Done a great job developing those young players out of GB and they find themselves here as their, most of them their first European Championships. Big swing and a miss for Man Keys. And in the on deck circle we've got Trent Nash getting geared up, catcher. Two down, Russell on first base. Netherlands will be looking to get out of this one unscathed. Change up, goes deep out into the left field. Chasing it down is Inglehart, and it's a great catch out in left field and foul territory for out number three to retire the side.
And if you're just joining in, you're watching the 16th edition of the Men's Softball European Championships here in Horsham, Denmark. If you're at home watching this from the TV screens, the weather's better out here. Just firing around the infield for the GB team. We've got Damon Brown on doing the pitching duties. Trent Nash catching. Todd Crean first base. Darren. Sorry about that. We got Darren at third base. We got Josh Peden shortstop and in the outfield. We've got Russell, Tomlin, and seems to be out in right field. Brown digging himself into a bit of a hole to start the game. We've got three balls, no strikes. And that's a four ball walk to Rashid Engelhard as he heads down to first base to get, give Netherlands their first runner on base. Daiguakim into the batter's box, takes for strike number one. Inglehart will be on the road, throw comes down and he slides in quite easily, safe into second base. Had the pleasure of playing with Rashid Inglehart down at the Zeister slot tournament. I believe it's his first year of playing fast pitch softball. He's done a terrific job managing to snape a spot in the Netherlands team as leadoff hitter. Great job. Big shout out to the man Brooksy. If you're watching back home, hope your leg's doing better, mate. Just a little high on the delivery. Two balls, one strike on the batter. Brown just leaning back a little bit too much on that ball fires it a little bit higher three balls one strike bunt goes down to third base Menzies comes across fires down that's a great take out there by a second baseman to click the first out of the innings over at first base on a terrific play. And advancing the runner over the third. And that'll bring up Aldrick. Big hitter from Haruba. First pitch fired down for strike number one. Aldrich's been a part of this Netherlands team for the last few campaigns. Very seasoned player, great hitter. Swing and a miss on the change. Great job by Brown there, just to keep it nice and low and just out of reach of Aldrich. Two. And struck out swinging. Down goes Aldrich for out number two. Into the box comes Costello. The first baseman for the Netherlands team. Big swing and that's going deep, deep, deep. That's out of here. All the way back to Netherlands. 
big hit and a two run lead for the Netherlands team. was a massive hit from Costello as he takes his team out to a two run advantage over the GB side into the batter's box steps Jeff Dolphina ball one on the outside Dolphina known for his speed anything can happen here Two balls, very patient. Nice and relaxed stance from Jeff Delfino. As he takes another ball inside. Brown just struggling to come back after giving up the home run. Just needs to settle in. Find the strike zone. He fires it down there. That'll be a four ball walk. Bottom of the first innings, Netherlands on top, two runs with a runner on one. Rise ball just missing high, ball number one. delivery on the inside corner one and one it'll send Delfina down the line very fast running with Delfina finds himself safe at second base one ball two strikes on the better Really was only a matter of time as everyone here knows Delfina's a sprint champion. And it'll be a 5 6 hole hit. Ball out to Russell, fires it into home. It's going to be a close play at home. And he slides in safe around the. Love work of Trent Nash at home plate. Again, a lovely, another lovely throw by Russell. Great arm and a great slide into home as the Dutch team extend their lead three runs to zero. GB team's got two down here, no doubt. Just be looking to take it out so that they can come in and regather. And that ball's up high. Out in the air, wind swirling out there. Tomlin's coming in and brings it in for out number three to retire the Netherlands side.
And if you're just joining us, we're heading into the top of the second innings. In the bottom of the first innings, big home run from Costello, the first baseman for the Dutch team. And the Dutch team 3-0. Up to bat, Trent Nash. Still plenty of time for this young GB side to bring it back the score line. No doubt Robbie Robinson's just told him, just calm down, just get a few runners on, and we'll look to work something every innings. Ball two. Run with the delivery, fires it high, three balls. Not the greatest start from Imran here in the top of the second innings. His side's just taking a three run lead. He just needs to focus up, and throw strikes, and force the GB hitters into running those ground balls and pop flies to this field. Just trying a little too hard. That's a four ball walk for Nash, as he heads down to first base to give GB their first runner in the second innings of the game. Cheeky quick fire throw from Imran over to first base to try and get the runner out. Darren tie into the batter's box. That's another ball. Big swing down the right field line, that'll go foul. One ball, one strike. Big change up. Great swing from Ty there. One ball, two strikes on the better. Ball high. Throw down to one and he'll be safe there. Tire with 2-2 two -two count. Just missing on the outside corner. Three balls, two strikes. Hard foul ball down the line. Right on top of it is Stai. Good opportunity for the GB team here in the top of the second innings. They find themselves with a runner on one. No outs. And Darren Ty on a full count. Change up low and that'll give a free base to Darren Ty as he heads down there. No doubt the Dutch coaching staff will 
just be asking him on just to settle down you know we've got a couple of runs ahead we just need the ball in place so we can make some outs up to the box young veteran Josh Pete steps into the batter's box Fouls one back to the net. Pete did his first Euros back in 2012 and his first World Championships in New Zealand in 2013. Been a member of the squad ever since. And is barely in his 30s. Squares up to punt and that will be a ball high. One ball, one strike. Change up, bunted foul. He'll be a little disappointed with that. He just went chasing a little bit on a on a pitch that was just a little low. One ball, two strikes. A great two strike hitter is Pete. Down the line to first base, steps on the base, fires over to two for the tag, and it's a great double play by the Dutch national team. Great job there, heads up thinking from first baseman Costello to step on the base, fire it down to two for out number two. The GB team have the option of re retiring catcher Trent Nash so he can prepare for the innings by replacing him with a runner, temporary runner. George Young into bat, fires the first pitch down and that'll bring coach Norman Ames out to the field. I believe he'll be coming out asking um, to see who the correct runner is supposed to be on the base. I believe it's the better furthest away and that would be Josh Pete. retires that'll give the third out of the innings and the GP side will be retired
we're back in the bottom of the second for those that are following back home GB put out the incorrect temporary runner which caused the third out of the innings if you were all confused with that temporary runner rule put in place to speed the game up requires the better furthest away to enter as temporary runner the better furthest away in this instance would have been Josh Peets Big swing and a miss. Great little change up there from Damon Brown. As he finds himself two strikes up on the better. Rangelad sends one down the line out towards the left field. Picked up by Russell Fard into two. Single to start the innings. Great, great lead off there by Narangelo Jacobus. Bunt attempt, fouled straight into the body. Dead ball. Runner hits back to one. Bunt attempt for strike two. Just a small correction as the first batter of the innings was Franco Wilders and in the batter's box is Narangelo Jacobus. And he takes strike three. One down. Runner on one and back to the top of the lineup. We have Ratchet Inglehart. Transform baseball player. Ball high. It's another ball, two balls, no strikes to Inglehart with a runner on one here. The Netherlands team, 3-0. Just a short timeout called as the first baseman was just picking something he dropped up off the field. Brown with the delivery. Big swing and a miss by Inglehart. Runners on on the run. That ball will come down as he slides in safe to second base. Three balls, one strike. On better Inglehart.
It's a four, four ball, free base to Rashid. And that'll bring up the young catcher, Dai Joaquin. Robbie Robinson calling timeout just to come out to the pitcher, just to settle him down, get him to throw those strikes. Great call by coach Robbie Robinson just to come out, settle the team down, say look, just looking for that ground ball so we can make something happen, maybe turn a double play. Yeah, nice comeback pitch there from Damon Brown. One strike. Runners on one and two. Big swing down foul ball line. Coach Norman Ames scooping it up, showing that two-handed glove work. Great job. Any kids watching out there, that's how it's done. Ace pitcher, Damon Brown, with the delivery, two strikes. Great pitch, just missing, down a little low. Just missing up the top of the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Runners on one and two. That's a high fly ball and that'll go foul. down in the 2-2 count. Delivers change up just missing the outside corner. Just a little high there, we'll load the bases for the Dutch team. And that'll bring in to bat Aldrich, the number three hitter. Never really a situation you want to be in loaded bases with the power hitters coming up. With Damon Brown in his first European Championships. He's done a great job so far of getting out of some pretty tight spots. That ball's going deep, that's hitting out to left field, going, 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 and that's out of here, grand slam. And that will see the Netherlands with a four run, home run from Aldrich Dustall.
and with their home run will extend the lead of the Netherlands side seven runs to zero as GB change out pitcher and bring in the young pitcher from Australia Matt Edgar first delivery fires down for strike number one Change up, just falling out of the hand there. One ball, one strike. Just missing inside. Two balls, one strike. Ball on the outside corner. Three balls, one strike. Matt just being a little cautious as he knows that Costello hit a home run as last at bat deep over the left field fence. Fires one down to the ground ball, down to Menkes. Fires it across to one. Take out number two. To bat, Jeff Delfino takes for ball number one. A good young talent for the GB side is pitcher Edgar threw a few years back at the qualifier series in Israel. Working his way up the ranks here, finds himself at his first European Men's World Champion, uh, Championships here in Denmark. fouled that one down the line for the first strike two balls one strike that ball's going to be fired out to left field tailing away with the wind and it's going to land fair. Russell picks it up, fires down to two. Dolphina's speed sees him standing up at second base. Great bit of hitting there. As Dolphina didn't try and do too much with it, just places it up into the wind and lets the wind do the work, pushes it to the side, and he's in for a stand up double. Strike number one. Great delivery from the young pitcher. On the rise ball at the top of the strike zone. Ball just missing the outside corner. Bottom of the second innings, two down, runners on two. Nice curveball on the inside corner. Strike number two. Edel with the ball. Fired on the outside corner. Better just going to tap that one and foul teal through.
two strikes on the better. Down low is Nash. Blocks it up, holds the runner at two. Swing and a miss, and that'll retire the side as we head into the top of the third innings. The Dutch team up seven runs to zero. Heading into the top of the third innings. George Young up to the plate. So the GB side find themselves down seven runs. Just needing to take some pitches here and get on, get into a rhythm and get some runners on base and capitalize on the situations. Great start for Memron. Fires in another close pitch, one ball, one strike. Just a little time call there as Imran readjusts himself, wanting to look good on the camera, no doubt. One ball, one strike. Fires it down, strike number two. Ground ball down to pitch him, run, fires it across the one, and I'll take out number one. Nice and relaxed, the Dutch team seem. Just taking it in, firing across the one. Matt Tomlin up to bat. Nickname Gaines. Get in those gains. So he takes for ball number one. Swing and a miss. The strike number one.
just a tad high there as Tomlin sits and looks at it go past. Two balls, one strike to count on the batter. Hits the ball hard, line drive straight to the second baseman for out number two of the innings. Just missed that one, Tomlin. Nice hard line drive to second baseman, gives them the second out. And into the box. Tom Russell, big swing, goes down first base, third base line. It's foul territory for strike number one. One of the dangers of being head coach is you have to stand over at the third base line when all those hard hit balls come that way. Got to really be on your game out there. Russell didn't seem phased by that change up at all. He takes that for ball number one. Got a 1-1 one, one count here. Two down in the top of the third innings. Swing and a miss. Just put a little extra on that one, did Emron. That one high down the right field line that hits to the fence and the first baseman scoops one up from over the fence to reel in out number three. Great defensive effort there as we head into the bottom of the third. Dutch team up, seven runs to zero. And we're back here in the bottom of the third innings in this lineup match between GB and the Dutch team. The Dutch team ahead seven runs to zero. There's a big home run in the last innings by Eldrick to advance their lead to seven runs. Retired pitcher Damon Brown forcing the GB side to bring in pitcher Matt Edder. One ball the count here. Just misses the inside corner. Two balls. Wind's picking up a bit here at Horsome Ballpark. Coming into the face of the batters and behind the pitcher. Big swirly wind. We have Enrique. Betting for the Dutch team. Oh, 
squares to bunt, but I doubt he would bunt in that situation there. He was just looking to take a pitch. Three balls, one strike to count. And he'll take ball four for the free base. team with a nice comfortable seven run lead here. That's going to go to the screen and Enrique is going to hit down second base. Javier, one of the stalwarts of the Netherlands team, been around since before, before my time for sure. Still here, plays a lot of his ball over in the Czech Republic and, and a little out of the Belgium League. Big swing, that ball go back foul over the back net. Just some great sportsmanship there as on the downswing managed to catch the hand of the catcher Trent Nash. over to third base and the Dutch with another real chance to score another run and extend their lead. Franco Wilders takes ball number three. Nice hard hit to left field in his last turn at bat. Finds himself here with an RBI situation. Change up, missing on the outside. That sends Franco down to first base. And we find ourselves in the bottom of the third innings. Runners on one and three. Number nine batter, Narangelo Jakobus, steps up to the plate. <laughs> Narangelo with a nice high hit, and that's going back, back, back to the warning track. Russell underneath it, brings that one in. And that'll score Enrique from third base. Deep fly ball to left field. For out number one of the innings. Little bit of action in the GB bullpen. And we're back at the top of the order. Richard Inglehart up to bat. Dusted off the plate with a nice inside pitch there from Edgar. Hard hit down third baseline and that'll hit out to the left field. Advancing runners. To second base, we've got runners on one and two, one down. Great job by the Dutch team, just making the most of the strikes that they're getting. 
delivering some powerful swings and hitting the ball hard. Daigua Keen up to the bit. Catcher for this Dutch national team. Takes for ball number one. on delivery ground ball down to Menkes fumbles it and that'll load the bases great job scooting across there to pick up the ball just wasn't a, quite capable of reeling it in to throw the out and that'll bring up Aldrich once again with the bases loaded bottom of the third innings Big swing. That ball will go foul. Aldrich Dulhoff in the batter's box. Opportunity with runners all over the bases. Gets their change up on the outside corner. Takes it for ball one. One ball, one strike. Bases loaded. Big swing, that's going to go high and push foul by the wind. One ball, two strikes. Aldrich drives the ball up the middle and that's going to bring in one run. Rashid rounding three, hitting home. Ball throw coming in third. And an out at third base there. GB really making the most of that situation. Two runs across the plate. But they'll take it out at third base. Great throw from Tomlin in the center field. As we got two down, runners on second base. Terrific bit of hitting there from Aldrich as it's not very often you have runners in scoring position with loaded bases, let alone twice in two innings. Does a great job punching the ball up the middle, bringing two runners across the plate and finds himself at second base. Ten runs in the third innings here to the Dutch national team. Still a lot of movement happening down there in the GB bullpen. Jan Gale warming up down there. Runner on two, two down. Big swing. Goes foul. One ball, one strike. Big swing. Two strikes on the better. A 
Kick it with a nice high rise ball. Pops him up, second baseman. Todd comes in, reels that one down. And we head into the top of the fourth innings. The Dutch team ahead by 10. We're back here in the top of the fourth innings in this late afternoon lineup between GB and the Netherlands. Netherlands are ahead 10 0. And Todd Crean into bat. Takes for ball number one. Quite hard mentally to come into a, an at bat knowing your team's so far behind. You know, you just got to. Reel it in, do your best, take those pitches and look for strikes. We're looking to hit the ball hard. Three balls, no strikes. Had the pleasure of meeting Todd's parents this morning, lovely couple. They've spent three months over this side of the world. Father originally from Scotland, got to, to see his childhood home and take his family around to see where he grew up. But before that, they spent a couple of weeks in Bali, soaking up some sun, drinking some drinks, no doubt. And here they find themselves in Denmark. Great weather, about 17 degrees. Heavy winds. Todd picks up his walk down to first base and Edda comes into bat. Hasn't had many opportunities with the bat, Edda. As he takes the strike number one. Squares up to bunt. Ooh, just on the outside corner. Two strikes on either. Not quite a bunting situation knowing your team's down by 10. But probably just looking to put the ball in play and make something happen. M1 fires down for strike number three on the inside corner. It Edda looking a little unhappy with that. Umpire says strike inside corner. Mankey steps up to the bat. The Dutch team two outs away from finishing the game in a run rule situation. 10 runs in the fourth innings. High inside pitch.
I think as a team going down by 10 runs, you know, you, you're really looking to extend the game a little bit more, you know, scamper one run across so we can keep the game going so we get a few more batting opportunities. And that's going to be a high fly ball in foul territory down first baseline. Just really looking to get some more at-bats out of the game and try and build something up. It's not over till the fat lady sings and I ain't hearing any ladies singing around me. That one's going to get loose to the back screen. Todd Crean heads down to second base as we've got a real scoring opportunity is with Mankeys, one of the main hitters out of the GB side. As he looks to drive a run in and extend the game into another innings for the GB men's side. Run with the delivery. Three balls, one strike. And he'll take four balls and head down to first base. One down, runners on one and two. Up to the plate, Trent Nash. You're looking to drive the runner in from second base to extend the game into the fifth innings. Ball high. Just trying a little too hard. As Coach Norman Ames is going to come out just to settle the pitch down a little bit. He's done a terrific job so far of containing the British team. Trent Nash up, one ball. It's the count. Runners on, one and two. Nash squares up. And they're going to hit down. Runners in motion. And they hit down to second base and third base. I'm not quite sure they knew what was going on there. There was no play made. But it was a bunt, bunt attempts. And the GB side find themselves in a great situation. Runners on two and three, one down. Nash really needing to get a little bit of contact here on the ball. Score the runner. Change up inside. One ball, one strike. Two balls, one strike. GB side, runners on base every innings for the last four innings. Just haven't been able to capitalize on the opportunities. And 
and it's going to be a four pitch ball walk to load the bases and that brings up Darren Tai loaded bases one out Strike number one. Great first delivery there from Emron. Just misses the inside corner. Ball. One ball, one strike. Side. Two balls, one strike. Feeling a little bit pressure as Emron here, as he knows that one run means they'll have to bat the bottom of the fourth and send us into another innings, giving the GB side another opportunity to creep back into the game. Balls, one strike, loaded bases. <laughs> Drives that ball out to right field, he catches it, fires it in down to home plate, and that's going to hold the runner back at third base. A laser beam from right field to home. Two outs, loaded bases, up to bat, Josh Peake. Very hard hit ball there. From Darren Ty, out to right fielder. And we've got two down. Top of the fourth innings, loaded bases. Veteran player Joshua Pete up to bat. Swing and a miss, strike one. Imran seems to have found some rhythm. He's getting back and he's amped. Knows he's got two down. Looking to put a little bit extra on the ball. Changer, big swing and a miss. Josh Pete. Two strikes on better Joshua Pete. Just reminding pitch him run that he only has 20 seconds to deliver the ball or it becomes a ball. Low inside for ball one. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball to shortstop, Eldrick. Fires it into two. And GB score one run, two runs. And we've got ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Ten runs to two.
just put under a little bit of pressure there from the quick running of Darren Tai. Wasn't able to bring it in, throw the out at second base. And great base running from the GB side as they pick up two runs on a ball hits a shortstop. Takes for strike number one. That one's going to go to the screen and they'll scamper over to two and three. Another real scoring opportunity here for the GB side. George Young up to bat. Two runners in scoring position with two outs, one ball, one strike. Just a little high. Two balls, one strike on the better. Change up, great job there from M1 as he forces George Young to get around from the ball. Just narrowly missing. Two balls, two strikes. Change up, that ball's going to be grounded down to Eldrick. Picks it up, fires across the one for out number three of the innings. And that'll retire the GB side. Ten runs to two, heading into the bottom of the fourth innings. Back in the bottom of the fourth innings here. Dutch team up, 10 runs to two. Eda delivers the first pitch of the innings. A little bit high, ball number one. Just misses on the outside. Three balls, no strikes. It's a four ball walk. There's the lead off for the Dutch team finds himself down at first base.
Great way to start the innings for leadoff better Delstra as he finds himself on first base. Ball one. Takes for strike number Big long hit that's getting back to the warning track, going back, back. That one's going to bounce into the fence on third. Rounding three. That brings runners into two and three. Great piece of hitting there by the Dutch team. The bottom of the fourth innings. Scoreline 10 to the Dutch and two to the GB side. Up to bat, senior player Enrique Javier. takes for strike number one. Runners on two and three. Just looking to drive the ball is Enrique. He takes one ball, one strike. Knowing farewell that if he drives in the runner on two, the game is over. Wind up, ball ground, hit hard down to Pete. Picks it up, fires it across the one. But the run will score. Nice sacrifice hit there to shortstop. Pete, we got one down, runner on two. Scoreline changes, 11 runs to two. Grab from Kitchen Ash. So that one gets a little away from Ega. <laughs> Big swing, that one's hit high into the air, heading out towards shortstop. Pete brings it down in for out number two of the innings. Big swing and a miss, and a nice change up for Mido. One strike, two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Inside pitch, one and one. That ball's hit hard down the line, tailing away down into the foul territory. 
One ball, two strikes. That ball's going to be hit hard out to centre fielder. Run around in three. Tomlin with the throw. And that'll bring the run in safe at home, ending the game. 12 runs to two. Great walk off hit there. Thank you for joining us here at the 16th edition of the Men's Softball European Championships. Game between Netherlands and GB. And we're here with Aldrich Dykhoff. Aldrich, how's the feeling amongst the team? Feeling good? Yeah, man, feeling good. Uh, 
Since uh, you know World Cup 19, uh, I didn't see the um, the good pitching, the, the 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 good level. So I'm trying to focus, focus, keep keeping the focus for the pitching. And here I am. Yes, great, great Grand Slam there in the to help your team out there. That must have felt <laughs> nice. Yes, that was uh, that's a, that, that was a great hitting. You know, you have to stay focused, yep. and I'm doing it. Yeah, great job out there. Um, where to from here? Sorry? Where to from here? Where does the team go from here? Um, I don't know. We, I don't know which game we have to play. So, big focus on the next yeah. game. Doesn't matter who just it is, focus. just yeah. come. Just focus. just focus. Yeah, great job. Thank and you. Congratulations on a win. Big win over the GB team. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you.